Earlier this year, I decided to take on the challenge to see just how much I could declutter. The reason why I'm making this short intro is because I want to make sure that you know that I have not shaved off my beard. Hi, I'm Mark Roos, and today I want to ask the question, do you know how much stuff you actually have in your house? Now, it may seem a little weird that I'm surrounded by all this stuff, clothes, shoes, but the truth is, I asked myself a few months ago, I don't even know how much shit I've got around the house. I left my parents' house over 10 years ago and I've traveled around the world. I've lived in different places, so I've had a lot of stuff scattered around the place. And over the last few weeks, what I've done is I've gone back and forth between my parents' house and my flat in London to accumulate everything that I own across everywhere. So this is everything that I own, 445 items included, ranging from jumpers to shoes to socks to boxes to coats to suitcases to bags, everything. That's 445. Do you know how much stuff you have? Because here's the thing. I've always asked myself, can I live with 100 things or less? I'm going to say, I've always asked myself. I mean, in the last few months, maybe. Funny enough, my sister-in-law gave me a book for Christmas. It's a book written by Marie Kondo called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying. Coupled with the fact that I'm interviewing the founders of The Minimalists, if you want to check it out, it's theminimalist.com, I just thought I'd give it a go to see what it's really like. Now, this has taken me weeks and days to actually plan and prepare, to, to count and to put everything in one room. So, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to basically use some of the theory from here, which is to decide what do I keep and what do I give away? Now, it's a bit different. I have different views than Tony totally in this book, but what I'm going to do is separate my things into three things. What I keep, what I sell, and what I give away. And I have this feeling that it's going to be a little bit more emotional than I think it is, because there's things like I'll pick up and I'll go, oh, I haven't used this in five to six years, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll use it some other time. It's going to be helpful someday. I make up that all this stuff that we have around our houses, all this clutter and all this stuff, is getting in the way of giving us that kind of creative space and freedom to go and do the things that we really want to do and focus on the things that are actually really important and the things that matter. I, I could be wrong, of course. So here's the goal. I have 445 items. I'm thinking of going below 100 items. That's roughly giving away just under 80% of everything I own. It's a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. And yet, that may be the key to living a more empowered and free life, whatever that means. And what I'd love to see and hear is how much stuff do you have in your house? Because once you lay it all out like this, I can tell you, it is pretty insane. I had no idea I had these. Let me look at this. I don't know if you can see everything, but I've got over 26 pairs of shoes. This includes slippers, trainers, walking boots, flip-flops, everything. That's insane. Who needs that many pairs of shoes? Unless you marry Carrie or something. So there you go. Operation a hundred things or less has officially begun. This is everything that I'm now left with. It may seem like a lot, but keep in mind, I did go from 445 items to 131 items. Now this includes everything from socks to towels, to suitcases and bags and coats and jumpers and trousers and so forth, shoes included. Everything, 131 items. Now, I know, it's not exactly 100 things or less, but I'm pretty proud. 445 items to 131, that's basically I got rid of 70% of everything I own, like almost three quarters of everything I own. I've got nine bags of clothes, shoes, and everything in between that I'm giving away to charity. 
and I've got about five bags that I'm going to be selling or, or, or giving away to charity or to some organizations that I support. I had 55 pairs of socks, which is totally nuts. And I've now got 17 pairs of socks. Now this includes all types of socks, from your winter socks to your everyday socks to your sports socks and so forth. Now this is the one that probably shocked me the most when I started counting everything I had. So I'm regrouping everything in terms of t-shirts, rugby shirts, uh, tank tops and, and that kind of stuff. All of that included, I had 76 tops, which I just thought was completely insane. And today I've got 19 t-shirts, and this includes everything. The whole process of getting all the clothes together is, is what took me the longest. So this is what you want to be doing. Step number one, you want to get every single clothing item that you own across the entire house that you live in and entire places that you've left stuff before just gather everything that's just step number one you can't start this process before you have everything in the same room step number two what you want to do is lay everything on the ground now you can sort this out in different ways whatever works for you the way that i did it is that i separated things per group of items so i put the socks together the underwear together the t-shirts the jumpers the trousers the suits the suitcases the bags etc everything into groups lay it all out in front of you now, what will most likely happen, like me, is that you will freak out by the amount of stuff that you've got and you'll feel like it's super overwhelming and you've got a ton of things to go through. Don't worry. Step number three, make sure you get a bunch of bin bags. Now, I just got your typical heavy-duty bin bags. You'll need about 10 to 20 minimum. That's what you'll want to aim for. I'd, I'd aim for 20 at least. And what you want to do is you're going to be separating into three different sections. What you keep, what you give, and what you sell. Now don't make this too complicated because the fourth step is actually the most easy step which I thought was going to be the hardest. It's going through everything. Now some of the criteria that I use were have I used this in a while? Do I really need this? And more of that I picked up the item and this is this is from the book from Mario Kondo's book which is how does this piece of clothing make you feel? Does it bring you joy? Does it actually make you feel happy when you hold it in your hand. For this to be effective, you will need to single-handedly grab every single item. Now, it might sound like it takes a process, but from the video that you've seen, it actually doesn't take that long. It took me about an hour to sort out everything, and that's 445 items. Uh, everything included roughly an hour just to sort everything out. What I've noticed from actually going through this process and not getting quite to the 100 items, and I think I might get there eventually when I start realizing that some of the stuff I kept, I don't actually use that much. It's just that, don't be so attached to the actual final number that you get. Aiming for 100 was a really good goal for me because I was going from 445, which was a huge amount of items, going for 100, and I was actually aiming to get rid of 80% of everything I owned. Well, I ended up getting rid of 70%, which is frankly pretty damn good, all things considering. So I'm happy with that, with 131 items for now. I'd like to be able to go down to 100 items one day, so watch this space. I'd love to hear how many items have you found in your house and how many items did you manage to get rid of and how much did you end up keeping. Make sure you subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and write a comment below. I'll respond to every single comment below this video and any questions that you may have. Next step on the list are books. Now, this is going to be a tricky one. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Roost and I'll see you on the next video.